and welcome. I'm sure today when you looked at the title of this video you thought I must have gone mad because we've got this beautiful sunshine, we're still at the beginning of August and I'm talking about Christmas but there's a good reason for this. This video really is aimed at anybody who wants to make some Christmas cards either just to give to friends and family or to print off and sell um, or to get done at the printers and sell. Now the reason for doing it now is because you do need some time to sort this out. First of all you've got to do the artwork and then you've got to maybe think about sending it off to the printers, taking photographs of your work, uploading it, and it all takes time. So there are two ways of doing this. You could either, like I say, send it off to printers and have them do it, and you can either do this online. There are lots of good online um, printers where you just upload your image and they'll send you them through the post. You could go to a local printers, of course, with your artwork and let them do the photographing, or you could print them off yourself at home. So I'll just talk through how I've done things and, and a few little tips that I will give you if you are thinking of making some Christmas cards of your own from your own images. So firstly, when you're actually doing the artwork, think about the dimensions. Look online at, and also obviously in card shops as well, at the standard dimensions of a card. An A5 is a good size to do. If you're here in the UK, it may be different if you're abroad, but if you're here in the UK, also think about the postage costs. A lot of people are put off buying um, larger cards, more than a sort of A5, if they have to then pay more for a stamp to post them. So think about that. If you're going to be selling your cards at craft fairs and things, people might not just buy them the same if they're quite big, because they will have to buy a bigger stamp to put on them. So that's one thing to bear in mind. So I tend to do an A5, sorry, an A6, I'm getting muddled now, an A6 um, for my cards. But also you could do square ones, some do the nice long panoramic ones. So just have a look at the dimensions and make sure the dimensions of your original artwork are going to zoom down to that size. Now that's the second thing I was going to talk about. Make your original artwork nice and big and zoom it down. Never increase the size of something that you've done. Don't do something small and make it bigger. You lose the quality there. You always keep the quality and make it look nice if you zoom down. And it's easier to draw big. So that's another good reason for doing that. Make it big and then zoom it down. So the one I did a few weeks ago was a sort of standard A4 size. Um, I've actually put this image already onto Redbubble because I thought, well, it's done, so I might as well put it on, although it's obviously a little early for Christmas. Um, but if you did want to see the full image of this one in detail, you could have a look on my Redbubble site, and I'll put the link in the description below to that. And I'm going to do a series of this kind of style, so I'm going to carry on, and I'll maybe do a video of me doing one one day to show you the process. But pretty simple, really. Basically, I set off with drawing the girl's face, and then filled in all these sort of geometric shapes and things around her and just after that it was a case of um, filling in with all the various colours and just making sure each colour wasn't touching uh, the same colour. Okay so that was the one I'm going to do today to, sh to show you how I was thinking of doing it. So two ways, I've already uploaded it to Redbubble and they can sell the cards direct from there and then you get a little bit of uh, commission from that, not much but you get a little bit for every card that they sell. Or you could send it off to the printers. I use one called DCS Printing. Um, also, I'll put the link to that one down below if you wanted to have a look at theirs. But there are many more. And like I say, it'd be nice if you want to find a local one that you could go to. Maybe you know somebody in your area. Um, and I basically upload the picture to them and then tell them what size I want the cards. And the cards come through the post. So that's a really easy way to do it. And then I can sell them at craft fairs and things. And they come with the little cellophanes and the bag and the envelopes and everything else. So that's another thing about doing your, getting your sizing right is the envelopes. If you make one that's a funny size, you might then find it's difficult to buy an envelope to fit it in. So these are all things that are worth thinking about. So to do them at home, if perhaps you just want to do half a dozen or a dozen cards to send to your friends and family to show them your work and wish them a happy Christmas and have something of yours to keep, which is quite nice. You could just do them at home. Most of us have got home printers, or if you've probably got a friend who's got a printer, if you haven't. And what I do is I do four um, images, uh, four of the same image, image on one A4 sheet. So again, it depends on your software, but it's you know quite easy just to do four on one sheet. Um, I'll show you the, me doing that up here somewhere. Up here, I don't know where I'll put that. Um, and I print those off, and then I guillotine them. 
if you've not got a guillotine to get a nice straight edge use a nice long pair of scissors and obviously be quite careful with your your cutting now if you wanted to you could cut right up to the image i don't i'll, I'll leave a little edge to it a little white edge little margin um, but you could crop it right up to the image if you wanted and that especially if you're doing it with scissors that might be easier to cut along that line but so like i say i use the guillotine and then those so one of those makes a nice a6 size so we've got a nice, not too stiff card, but a nice bright white card, A4. Um, it's usually cheaper to buy a big pack of white card than it is to buy all different coloured cards. So that's why I use white and I use it for other things as well. Again, just chop that in half and that makes you your A5 piece of card. And then obviously fold that over, glue on your image and then you end up with your nice A5 card to put your own message in and you could print off some messages and stick them in there as well now you'll see I used a print stick but you could use glue dots you could use double sided sticky tape anything that you prefer to stick them on and what I do is I tend to do them with glue and then leave them on the side to make sure they dry overnight and then the following morning I'll put them in the little cellophanes if I'm going to sell them but usually if I was doing it this way it's probably just to give to friends and family but you can see that makes an easy way to print off your own work and make a nice little card okay so I hope you found that uh, interesting and useful so the main thing really now is if you haven't is to start with your artwork and getting that ready and then very importantly is the photographing of it so you need a very well lit room if it's a nice day perhaps not too bright but if it's a nice day take it outside and photograph it outside it's obviously going to depend on your equipment what your camera's like you know most smartphones have a pretty good camera on them nowadays so whatever camera you've got make sure it's well lit and also make sure it's level and you've got a steady hand or a tripod um, so that there's no blurring and take plenty because with digital images you can you know delete the ones that are no good so take plenty put them on your computer and see which are the best ones make sure that they're nicely lined up and squared off and uh, you know just do a few practice ones and if you do need to use your software you, you know if you've got them too dark you can lighten them and things like that as well okay so have fun with that let me know how you get on and if there's anything else you want to ask about uh, making of your own christmas cards then do so in the comments below and like i say i'll probably come back another day and do some more christmas designs but we've got plenty of time for that haven't we okay so thanks for watching and bye for now